World War II's multiplayer debut is in just a few days and I'm super hyped for it. Hopefully you guys are as well. But in this one, I want to take a look at something that's been going around a little bit of a theory that we might be seeing something return after nearly a decade in Call of Duty. So we're going to be taking a look today at this little theory, breaking it down and seeing the possibility of will tanks return in Call of Duty World War II multiplayer. So let's jump right into it here with this. First and foremost, a couple of days back, we got some teasers and information regarding the create a class system and what is dubbed the divisions for Call of Duty World War II. It's five divisions, Airborne, Mountain, Infantry, Armored, and Expeditionary Force, and these all have different loadouts tailored to them and how they'll work. They're basically two multiple different play styles but the hub for each of those. So, Airborne is described as first to the fight, where you move fast and stay quiet. Mountain is described as focusing on precise and deadly sharpshooting. Infantry is be the tip of the spear. Armored is bring the heaviest of firepower, and Expeditionary Force is packing heat with incendiary shells. Now, up until a few days ago, we didn't really have too much information on what these kind of weapons would constitute and where they would be placed for these certain divisions. However, we've been getting from the Call of Duty official Twitter some teasers leading up to the multiplayer reveal at E3 for Call of Duty World War II, and that's something that is honestly pretty cool because these audio cues and things that directly correlate with multiplayer and what we'll be seeing here in a couple of days time this then gives us a little bit more of a look in as to what we can see so I'll play the teasers here for you guys if you want to check them out for yourselves and listen and see if you can decipher and derive what is in each of these and then we'll go over each of them as they follow up here with this now keep in mind before we play these there's one missing because we're now once again still two days out so one is missing that will be the airborne teaser but as for the other ones they're all right there and I'll play them for you now. Now, if you listen to these teasers, you can see, firstly, the infantry is the regular assault rifles. The teaser has that iconic M1 Garand ping noise for that of whenever the clip actually pops out and you have to reload. Others include the mountain, which is a distinct sniper holding his breath and then firing. The newest teaser is that of the Expeditionary Force, in which it's a shotgun teaser, but the one that we want to focus on deals with the armored category. This, you can hear machine guns, but it also sounds like the mechanics of a tank shifting in the background, something that if this is placed directly in something that's correlated with the multiplayer of World War II, what's the purpose of it if it's not actually in multiplayer? So those noises are rather distinct, but how would this work? Assuming this is 100% a teaser for tanks in multiplayer, which is neither confirmed nor denied at this point, but assuming that it is something, let's just take the optimistic route here. What is the way this could work within multiplayer for World War II? Personally, I think this is something that would once again almost be that of like it was within World at War, something that is now available once again due to console restrictions and different expansions within the hardware usage that developers can use. I don't think that it will be something that will be on every single map, and this is something that we once again saw in World at War, but it's also very possible this is something that is tailored only towards the bigger maps and potentially even the bigger game modes. One selling point that Condry has been hitting very hard since the reveal of World War II is the war game mode. This being something that sounds very reminiscent to the classic war game mode from Call of Duty and other things like that across various different first person shooter games. This is something that would require much larger maps, a larger player base, and therefore could warrant the use of excessive force in say 
tanks. Now, of course, this is probably gonna be something that divides the community in a little bit of a schism or a split, simply because tanks are a game changer. There's something that really does change how you have to play. You have to be a little bit more tactical if you know there is a tank hanging around a base you're trying to capture or a flag you're trying to capture, something similar, and it really changes how players will play the game. So this is something that is a big change up and a curveball to what we've seen in recent years for Call of Duty, and it's something that you may very well hate or you may very well love. It really is just personal preference, and there's no right or wrong answer with it, but once again, coming back to this teaser, what's the point of adding in this shifting iron and heavy steel of a tank if it's not gonna be related at any way, shape, or form to the multiplayer teasers that these also correlate with. We have, once again, the snipers, the shotguns, the regular assault rifles, machine guns, and of course, now with that also in that same one, tank audio. So I guess time will tell. Once again, we will be getting the full multiplayer debut within the next two days, and that's something that we can all look forward to, and we'll hopefully get some of these answers relayed to us at that point in time, in which case, we then will have a solid answer. But for now, what do you think about this here, maybe featuring tanks in multiplayer for Call of Duty World War II? Are you hoping it's something that is map specific, maybe game mode specific, once again, towards those bigger game modes and maps like War, and some of the other just larger maps in general, or do you hope maybe there's some on every single map, or do not hope there's any at all? Feel free to drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Once again, no right or wrong answer here. Just want to gauge your thoughts and opinions on this and see what you guys have to say. So that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, make sure to drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything regarding World War II multiplayer. Make sure you guys subscribe because we're going to be hitting all this kind of stuff hard. I'm so excited for the reveal here. And as well, if you guys are interested in Zombies, Zombies Chronicles, Black Ops 3 Multiplayer, Modern Warfare Mastered, all that good stuff, we get you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. My name is Nicolai Espresso. Take care and peace.